All right. So watch this video for Wednesday, May 30th. Um, kind of an ugly day today. The Dow was down almost 400 points. You can see the daily candle of the SPY here kind of rolling over out of this consolidation that it's been in for, what, a couple weeks? So we'll see. This is a very inactive day for me. I, you know, um, I didn't trade very much. I had a decent trade at the end of the day, but mostly I did nothing. Um, let's look, and I actually have a bigger watch list than I suspected. When I started scanning for stocks, I thought I would have not much to watch. But, you know, with uh, bounce plays in there kind of adds up to the list. And a bounce play is generally born out of a weekday. So SMRT gapped up a few sessions ago. And we've got three solid red days right into the area that I, I kind of affectionately deem the buy zone between the 8 and the 20 day. I also use these moving averages on five minute candles on an intraday basis too. But uh, they hold true on the daily as well. So it's it's come back down after gapping up from earnings, you know, three days into that buy zone. So if there's any market strength, this one might be worth watching for a bounce tomorrow. JP Morgan, uh, one ugly day, but down into the 200 day and previous support. It's bounced nicely off this uh, 105 area here, kind of hovered above it here, basically here again. And then you have the um, combination of the 105 recent lows with the 200 day as well. So again, with a market bounce, this is a good candidate for a nice bounce tomorrow. Remember when you watch my videos, I'm only looking for stuff that might give me a trade tomorrow. I'm in cash every night. Uh, certainly not in love with this one, but WMLP, I do like the lower price stocks. It went from $1.32 to $4.56 in one session, and now we're three days lower. You can see the declining volume. Speaking of that buy zone between the 8 and the 20, we've gotten down there. So, uh, But I would note that it only traded 132,000 shares today on you know a $1.99 stock. That's pretty darn thin, so uh, that's why it's not my favorite, but I, I do want to watch it. Um, BWA, a little bit like JP Morgan, kind of a nasty day today and nearing some support bounced here and here, although well below the 200 day. Um, GBR, this, this has a history of spiking and failing spiking and failing. You see a lot of it here. Um, it had a spike that held up pretty decent a few weeks ago, and then today a spike that held up really well. So uh, it's a lower float uh, oil and gas play, I believe, and it's certainly worth watching tomorrow for a uh, follow through day. Um, LB. Just flagging again. You had the gap down three sessions ago, and then they had a strong day right up into that hole number 36. We love hole numbers, as you know, if you watched our inflection points video. Um, then you had a quiet inside day near the top of this big day's range, and then today, uh, even more narrow range. And so you do have kind of a tight flag here. So watching for a uh, push higher on this one, only with a proper intraday setup. LEJU. Good volume for this stock and closing strong. Note that it hit the 200 day, but uh, we'll see if we can get a follow through day in that one. I believe that's a Chinese stock. CODX was what you call stupid strong today, um, making an intraday move from a low of 163 all the way up to at one point it hit uh, 374. That's a huge move. Uh, generally, you don't want to try to take this one again the next day, but sometimes, on rare occasions, uh, we get a really nice low risk setup and a nice trade the following day after something like this. Uh, but generally, I'm thinking I want to have this on watch. I'd like to see you know a flag or a two or three day pullback, and then I really love this one. So it's just going to be on watch for the next several days. Um, naked, got to love this symbol. N A K D. Um, nice volume today for this stock. Now it's worth noting that this volume spike still only 740 something thousand shares. But uh, you know, in a weak tape, again the Dow was down almost 400 points. This thing had pretty good relative strength. So we'll see if we get like a red to green or something like that in that one tomorrow. Uh, SNES, after the big pop here, it's kind of flagging and closed above its open, kind of holding. Uh, after breaking through the 200 day, it's kind of holding it. And uh, we'll see if we can get any kind of follow through of today's kind of narrow green day. AXON, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little better. So. This one I was watching near the end of the day for a nice little flag break because, you know, the closer you get to the end of the day, you can start looking at the daily chart as I was doing on AXON and, and starting to say, you know, if this holds up, it could get some attention by after hours people and, and people doing overnight scans. And this one was certainly holding up fairly well. Um, I never did catch a, a trade in the afternoon because it kind of just meandered. It didn't give me the setup I was looking for, but it closed fairly strong. So I definitely want to watch this. Um, ignore the green line. That's a moving average I use for my five minute charts. Um, but really, a strong close, and again, in a weak tape, so maybe a red to green in that one. Um, that's AXON. A couple more. ADOM, and this is the one I, I made a call in late in the day in the chat room um, as it started to come up 
here, and I'd already had it on watch. I'd already told everybody I like this um, for a positive. One of my favorite charts going into the afternoon, you know, when it looked like this, uh, I said probably red to green, and then you have a high of day, and then you have yesterday's high, all what we call stacked catalysts, right? Um, so then it starts to pop up here, and I've reiterated my idea. Basically through 160, there was a big seller there too, looking for a pretty quick move to a high of day break, and then through yesterday's high, and that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, that's not a huge move, but the 160 long idea up to 175, decent volume to get, you know, to get in and out. Um, not a bad percentage gain, but I was kind of aggravated that it waited till the end of the day to do that because I kind of had this one on watch all day. Having said that, um, nice strong close in a week tape. Uh, the most recent high was 197. Maybe we would test that, and if we get through that, might just rip through the whole number too. So absolutely goes on watch tomorrow. I've got one more, ENG, which had this big spike and kind of closed week. Same thing on Friday. And then today, it's kind of just building, right? It, it's consolidating, um, coiling, whatever term you want to use. Uh, again, a, a strong a stock that closed strong in a week tape. So I'm going to watch this one too. And man, that's plenty to watch. It's way more than I thought I would have on my watch list. Um, we'll add some potential gappers in the pre-market as well. And um, we'll leave it at that. Enjoy the rest of your evening and we'll see everybody on uh, Wednesday morning.